Welcome back to our series on understanding modern slavery with Dr. Stephen Morse from Unchained Business Services. In today's podcast, we discuss the real goal of the Modern Slavery Act. So Stephen, can you share with us about what you think we can expect the Modern Slavery Act to achieve? Sure. Well, the purpose of the Modern Slavery Act is to stimulate business leaders to create companies that excel in doing good in our world. The law is designed to stimulate the market towards social action that is beyond a CSR strategy. The Monoslavery Act calls upon business leaders to look at their own company DNA, to consider how they operate, buy and sell, both here in Australia and overseas. Well, that seems like something that could take time to implement. It certainly will. The Monoslavery Act is not just another layer of compliance. It's not just another tick-the-box scenario, and it's simply not an auditing process. It's about culture change, internal change and external change. It encourages leaders to improve the way they do business and to see their supply chain as an investment, an opportunity to do good and to help others to thrive. Do you think this type of change is possible? Yes, I do. I'm a believer in change, but I also think that a change in culture can only happen over time when people apply themselves to that change over the long haul. Change happens when we look beyond our own immediate needs and seriously attend to the needs of others. There are a lot of risks in doing good. And while assessing risk is important, in the end, the Modern Slavery Act is not about protecting the risks to your reputation. It's about assessing the risk as it relates to the exploitation and enslavement of people who serve your reputation. Helping impoverished communities to thrive? For me, this can only enhance your reputation in the long, in the long term. Do you see any other benefits coming from addressing modern slavery? For sure, by working on modern slavery, organisations will develop the frameworks and capacity to address other human rights abuses. The government is looking for a positive engagement with this issue, which will provide the impetus, the stimulus, to address other human rights issues. Thank you, Stephen. Now that we know more about the Modern Slavery Act and what it's all about, hopefully more companies begin to embrace this culture change. In the next podcast, we begin looking at what Unchained offers companies to address modern slavery. Keep up to date with us and stay tuned on our website at www.unchained.net.au.